Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another nighttime pouring episode. HOA and I are here. It's getting cold at night. <laughs> it's down in the 50s. Um, so we're playing a little bit. This is a 10 by 10 wood panel from Arteza. I have taped the back. Uh, this is my spinner from Erica Hughes Art. And we're going to be playing with our leaky cup again from our friends Lee and Jeremy. Last time I used this, I put each individual color in and HOA made a suggestion of possibly pouring it, layering a cup and then pouring the layered cup in there. So we're gonna try that tonight and see how it goes. Um, first thing we're gonna do, let me show you my colors real fast. Okay, the first color we're using is Quinacridone Crimson from Golden. Not real thick tonight, just barely leaving a mound and then sinking into itself. And then I also have Permanent Violet Dark. And I have a little bit left of my Prussian blue. And I have some Nicolazzo gold. And I have my 24 karat gold from Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics. So, what do I have the most of? I have the most of this permanent violet, so I think we're gonna use this as our base coat color. I'm gonna pour that on there. And then I'm gonna rub some into the sides just to make sure that there's color on there. Raw edges showing. Mina finger painting, how rare. Finger I've painting never is have good for the soul. <laughs> <laughs> what was that quote? We don't grow old because we We don't stop playing because we grow old. We grow old, old because, because we stop playing. playing. Exactly. I have a goal for my birthday. Yeah. I want to hit fifty thousand subs on my birthday. We're at forty seven forty seven thousand five hundred right now. I would like to get to 50,000 before my 50th birthday. I think that's an awesome thing. 50th birthday, 50,000 subs. I think that's way cool. Okay, so we rubbed some in on our sides. We're probably going to go over the edges anyway. And I am actually going to put a little bit of paint on the bottom over here. Just to kind of anchor it onto the spinner. A little bit. So it doesn't go sliding all over the place. I'm going to push that down. Spin. Okay, now we're going to put a little bit more paint in the center, and we're actually going to spin this out. Spread that. Okay, I'll just get this edge like this rather than make you guys sit through more spinning. <laughs> okay. I was digging the dizziness. No worry. <laughs> Get our edges over here and make sure everything's all covered. Okay, so we have our base coat laid down. We're gonna use our string that I've been watching my beautiful friend Fiona do to find the center of things for a very long time. And I keep meaning to bring a string down here and I finally remember to, to find the center. Okay, there we go. That's pretty good. We'll deal with that later. And we'll touch up that edge right there. Okay, we're going to take our leaky cup. I'm going to put him right there in the middle. Okay, so let's layer a little cup, HOA. What do you want first? I'm going to put a tiny bit of gold in the bottom of the cup. And then let's go with her red, like when I put on crimson. Permanent Violet Dark. And then let's go with the Nicolazzo Gold. I know it looks weird putting that on top of the purple, but it's actually really, really pretty. Okay, a little bit of gold. And we'll put some Prussian Blue in there. Ooh, that was a lot of Prussian Blue. All right. You got a little dirty there. <laughs> it got a little dirty there, sorry. <laughs> You're not good. Well, because yeah. I poured it too fast, that's why. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I said, did it get, you did get a little dirty because it sank. Yeah. Okay. This should be fun. Let's pour this, shall we? Indeed. Okay, I'm just going to go around the edge. Put 
is really full in a second. I'm going to stop it and now we're going to pour it this way. Yeah, baby, it's working. Oh, that's really cool. Lots of different colors in there. <laughs> Probably should have spun it while it was moving. Okay, we're gonna spin this out though, and I'm gonna pick this up. Put that over there. Boop the snoot. <laughs> <laughs> this is really pretty. Should we spin it or should we just leave it like that? Spin it a little bit. If I spin it a little bit, it's gonna go over the edges and I'm gonna lose a lot of paint. I'm willing to do it. Too much paint now? I would probably be okay because it's so thin. Technically we should spin it, but I love these cells that are happening. We're gonna flip the torch this first. It's really pretty though. <laughs> this part, I love this part. Oh. Up in here, can you get these little cells? Like those right here. They're all so pretty. Right, I think there is a little bit too much paint on here, so we are gonna spin it. And we might end up having to do this again. Wow, <laughs> that's kind of trippy though. Let's spin it a little bit more. That's pretty cool. That is cool. I just, I kind of want to do it again. Okay. I'm not going to put the purple base coat down. We're just going to go right on top of that. And I'm going to go right in the middle again. That's close enough. Okay. We're gonna use a clean cup. Here we go one more time. Um, so you wipe the mud out of the no. cleaning cup? I'm gonna start with a little bit of the Prussian blue and then a little bit of gold. And then I'm gonna put some of the Nicolazzo gold in there. Permanent violet dark, excuse me. And some of our have to crimson. That's really cool. Very smart. I forgot the velvet again. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Take this off. 
I'm gonna kind of give this a twirl as I take it off. Ooh, good idea. I love that bubble. It's so funny. That's really pretty. Interesting, we got more blue around the first time. It's probably what was left in the cup. Okay, we're gonna spin this. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Pour some water on this into my trash can. Kind of wash it out a little bit. Get some of that paint out of there. I'm gonna wipe it with the paper towel. I'm gonna rinse this in too. Probably would have been better to dunk this in a tub of water. But that's okay. Okay. As interesting as that looks, I kind of want to do it the other way again. I'm going to find the center using the string again. Remember the velvet? Yes. Okay. So we'll go corner to corner. And corner to corner. I think we're going to do this one individual cups, individual colors. Let's actually start with the velvet. And then a little bit of Prussian blue. We'll try using much less paint this time also. Rather than pouring a lot out of the cup at once, we'll just drizzle it off the stick. Also giving the paint a chance to come down fully before the next color comes out. Interesting patchwork quilt, but we're going to spin this one out. Okay, I'm going to pick this up and spin it a little bit. Put that down, pop the bubble. That's kind of neat. All right, I'm going to spin this out. Are you ready, HOA? Yes, Well, 
don't like that at all. <laughs> we may have That's really interesting. I didn't think I liked it the first time when we were layering. Instead of, so layer the cup, but instead of doing like a ring pour, because I think that's sort of making it muddy, if you just spin the canvas and like pour do it like in a, one yeah, spot. Yeah, do like a, exactly. Alright. Do like a you know, medium spin. Let me try that. Unfortunately, I'm out of my Prussian blue, so that's okay. Alright, so we'll just layer a cup with these colors. We're going to start with the permanent violet dark. Can you set it down? Or? Let me go out of the gold. Gold. And then put some velvet in there. I think I want to pour a puddle of the permanent violet in the center. Let me spin that. straight. That's what you said? Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I 
That is really pretty. Okay, we're gonna torch this and then we're gonna leave this alone. And I'll show you this one when it's dry. Sexy spin, ain't you, eh? Yes, please. I think I'm gonna do a... Let's do it in the middle. <laughs> that's really cool though all right awesome thanks for being here with us tonight guys i will show you this one when it's dry we'll be right back So this is a few days later now. Mine is totally dry. This one came out so cute, you guys. Just adorable little flower <laughs> from our leaky cup from Massey Art Studio. This was the Quinacridone Crimson and the Permanent Violet Dark and a little bit of Prussian Blue and some 24 karat gold and that Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold. And we had just a little tiny bit of this little piggy velvet in there, if you see it blinging and sparkling, that electric blue color, which is pretty cool. So this was a lot of fun. This was the, we did a couple of different tests. We did, first we did our layered ring pour into the cup, and then after that we did um, individual colors. And then the last time, this pour, we did HOA's suggestion, which was a layered cup, and we spun the canvas and the leaky cup and poured into that in a straight pour. It gave us some really, really beautiful patterns in the center of the petals. I did put a coat of spray varnish on this one. I used Krylon UV resistant archival spray gloss. It made it very, very, very blingy. As you can see, look at that gold popping. So, and there's a little bit of velvet up there on the top left corner. You can see it blinging in the light. I think that's so awesome, that color shifty interference sort of property of the, this little piggies. You can find your this little piggies at Fluid Art Co. And uh, speaking of this little piggy, I'm so excited they are sponsoring our Fluid Art Experience event in Dallas, Texas this year on November 12th and 13th, which means <laughs> there's some amazing goodies in our goodie bags and some giveaways, which you guys are going <laughs> to you're gonna love what's happening. So make sure you guys check out fluidartexperience.com and get your tickets today if you have not already, if you guys can. And if you're coming, get a ticket to the buffet because it's going to be a lot of fun. That's where all the giveaways are happening and uh, the question and answer period. And it's going to be, it's going to be kind of epic. So <laughs> those gift baskets are amazing. Anyways, this was awesome. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you to Lee and Jeremy for a wonderful little leaky cup. You can find your leaky cup at MasseyArtStudio.com or you can come to Texas and get one. <laughs> this was awesome. I think I'm going to call this one holographic hibiscus because it's, you know, I don't know, it's giving me that flower child vibe. <laughs> Thanks all for your amazing comments for our Halloween costume ball. That was so much fun. I had a great time. Uh, I'm still a little shaken up from Kathleen's pour. <laughs> Make sure you check out everybody's Halloween collab because it was just, it was so much fun. And they were all amazing pieces, so... This was awesome. Thank you guys so much for being here with us. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week, and we'll see you on Friday. Bye-bye.